Today's tutorial is calf versus quad, the battle of the microbend. And this is something that I think every aerialist can relate to, especially when they're lifting their legs against gravity or trying to create momentum in dynamic movement. If you haven't heard the term before, microbend basically describes the struggle of keeping your knees straight with pointed toes. So this tutorial is going to help you understand the reasons why this is so hard and what we can do to eliminate the microbend forever. So let's start with the muscle groups involved in straightening the knee and pointing the toe. To create a straight line with your leg, we're looking at using three muscle groups and we're focusing on two of those today that really are in opposition to each other, which create this neurological dilemma of keeping a straight line. There are smaller muscles in the foot, which help you scrunch your toes over to complete a pointed look. But basically it's the calf muscles that create the ankle plantar flexion, which is basically an arch, creating a nice arch. And then it's the quadriceps, the muscles on the front of your thigh that help you straighten your knee. Knowing that the quadriceps extend the knee and that the calf points the ankle joint, you might think, okay, strengthen the quadriceps, strengthen the calves, point the toe, and then lift the leg in space. But it's not that simple because when you add the idea of keeping your toes pointed at the same time as keeping your knee straight, we have to look at the dual action of the calf muscle. So because the calf muscle cross behind the knee joint, it points the ankle joint, but it bends the knee joint. So you basically have to have super strong quadriceps to override the action of the calf, wanting to pull the knee into a slight bend or a buckle. So these exercises, I've got you on the ground so that anytime you lift up into an arch position, taking your heel off the ground, you're automatically got some resistance of pointing the toe and you have to practice keeping your knee straight in this position. Once you can do this, you're creating new neurological pathways so that your brain is conditioned to respond respond in a way that creates this beautiful straight leg line. And it's not impossible. It's just slightly different to what we normally ask the body to do, just like learning how to walk on your hands. In this third exercise, we're adding some extra resistance. So the quadriceps have to work extra hard to push the knee back into a straight line. And then keeping your balance, you slowly have to do a calf raise. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna give you the chance to practice creating a straight leg line with toes that are already pointed in a more simple static condition. So all you have to focus on is the two opposing actions of those muscle groups and controlling the straight line. And then our goal is twofold. We wanna strengthen the quads specifically to be strong enough to keep the knee extended, which is basically overpowering the calf and making sure that the toe can stay pointed. And this practice, 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 practice is going to create new neurological pathways. So the brain no longer has to think about how to create a straight line. It can just do it on demand. And then the second thing is making sure that we learn how to lift our leg in space and recruit the help of lots of other muscles like your hip flexors, your glutes and your external rotators, which are also got a big part to play in lifting your leg against gravity and maintaining tension throughout dynamic movement. And these four exercises are going to make sure that you can establish a super strong straight leg line and then we'll move to part two.